used to have five minutes hatred for people that interrupt my sleep especially on phone like i'll be sleeping and my phone is on the bed my phone is vibrating inside my head there's a snake temple there i think the people in that area they worship pythons so there's one very very like where they have church it's only in public and because are you mad do you know you're in public and do you know what if your mouth is smelling and she was like i just wanted to see the road that, that nobody can intimidate and i'm like hmm? hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about a whole lot of things there's this 30 days of writing challenge i've been seeing flying here and there on whatsapp i'm just going to insert a picture i thought it would be nice for me to come here and talk about some of those things so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing today it's basically me just responding to some questions or some things so let's get right into the video of today if this is your first time you are welcome and please subscribe stick with me it's fun here if this is not your first time thank you for coming back again i really and i sincerely appreciate so let's get right into this video the first one is 10 things that makes you really happy money food more money more food <laughs> But seriously, food, money, more money, more food. Like, money is never enough. Especially in this economy. Money is never enough. More food. I love food. Like, who doesn't like food? Good food. Random gifts. I think the random gifts are really thoughtful. You must not wait for their birthday or for their wedding before you think of gifting them. Like, if you think they've been good to you, why can't you appreciate them? So random gifts, yeah. Music, definitely. I'm a lover and a sucker of good music. Yeah, music heals, you know. And also internet. The internet makes me happy. Like, yeah, it's good to just like with your phone and you're surfing the internet, seeing everything that is happening, both good, good and bad. I think that will make me really happy. And then yeah i love to play funny enough i love to is it funny it's not funny i love to play i, I hate to be serious so yeah and last but definitely not the least is god it feels so good to know that whenever you have issues or you just have things going on in your life you can easily go and talk to god and he will definitely listen like there is always like refreshness whenever you talk to god it's good to know that there is always someone you can run to that does not feel and that does not disappoint so that makes me really happy also number two is write something that someone told you about yourself that you never forgot ah i'm going to talk about it obviously so hmm, first of all i know i'm a social media person whenever i upload content i have people always telling me oh you're creative oh you're awesome i've never seen something like this before whenever i do transition videos like i always have that comment and it's not something i forget like it's not something somebody should forget to because those things are the things that motivate me to want to always do more or to put out more content so that's definitely one of the like I, if you comment on my post you might not know but comments i take them really really personal like i take comment really really personal thank god that throughout the years i've not had any bad or nasty comments because i, uh, <laughs> I always have good comments and i take them personal like i feel like if you're commenting on my posts ah oh, it makes me feel good i i love to go to my comment section love 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 to that's why i always reply and all of that secondly the second thing that someone told me that i can never forget i was in gs2 there was also a student although she was done with school she had already graduated out of secondary school so she came back to like visit or i don't know maybe she came to collect her results but i shall know she was around that period that particular day and i joined the school gs2 i joined that particular school gs2 and i was in gs2 as her then so she came and she was like oh everybody was running oh senior this is here senior i think she was nice or something i don't know everyone went oh she's here she's here she's here and i don't know her so i was just resting my head like that in class and i remember that day and someone came to meet me i'm like senior this person is calling you i'm like does she know me what is she calling me for but anyways i still went 
when I got there, she just looked at me and she knew that eyes. I'm like, ah, I mean, she did not call me. I'm not that to her that they said they are calling me. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I just wanted to see the road that, that nobody can intimidate. And I'm like, hmm? <laughs> she has younger siblings that were still in the school as I then. One was my brother's classmates, that was SS2. And one was my junior, like he was in GS1. Yeah. And I'm like, so is it that these people are discussing about me? I, I don't even know what they even talked about that. And I'm like, intimidate. That, that, for, to be honest with you, that was the first time I was, I was ever hearing that English intimidate. I was in GS2. I went to go and check it. I saw the meaning and I've been living by it. You see, uh, you see this world is a very, very funny place. Something of since how many years ago? Like, I'm still living by it. Like, I don't... I did not even know that. Oh, I'm someone that cannot be intimidated. Like, I do not know. I was just being me honestly, GS2. Did I know anything? And I lived by that thing that that girl told me up until now. I'm a very fearless person. Be you who you want to be. I can never be afraid of you. And I will always tell you my mind when I have to or when I need to. I know they fear anybody. Like, you cannot intimidate me. Physically and otherwise like i can never be intimidated so that is one thing that somebody told me that not only did i not forget it but i've been living by it like i have it literally at the tip of my fingers so yeah the next one is what are my top three pet peeves number one is sluggishness or being slow i hate slow markets if it doesn't have anything to do with me and i'm just seeing you are slow and i'm like i can be standing on the road and then someone stops a vehicle and obviously other people are inside the driver too is trying to meet up his target for the day i had to sluggishly entering inside the taxi <sighs> i used to think that so what do people used to think actually what and they saw them and they say they are insulting them because they've not bought car like things like that and then maybe supermarket attendants or bankers or whatever like what like like oh that thing irritates me i cannot even explain and most of you might not even understand because uh, it cannot be everybody's pet peeves but that thing is really 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 annoying and i'm not even going to lie my second pet peeve yawning i can even manage to not you know funny enough i can manage but you see yawning and bopping like belching without covering your mouth you know you don't it's only in public I'm because are you mad? Do you know you're in public? And do you know what if your mouth is smelling? Like body odor service. In short, eh, ah, I beg, I beg. Let's not even go to body odor. Eh? There was one concert I went for this year, like an all night concert, and I sat next to somebody that had body odor. <laughs> Shit! I was so upset. Like I moved my chair. The other girl would think I'm, uh, I'm in love with her because the way I shifted my chair to close to her. Eh? Oh more. Like what the hell? Ah, oh mama, I can't, I can't, I can't. Next one is list five places you want to visit. There's a snake temple in Benin Republic. There's a snake temple there. I think the people in that area they worship pythons. So there's one very, very like where they have church and they have mosque and shrine, like in Nigeria. There they also have a snake temple where people go there to worship snake. But then again, is is a place like if you're going on maybe a trip. Some people go to the Benin Republic for trips. Like if you go there, you can go and visit the Snake Temple. They will show you around and all of that. And the fun part that I even saw that drew my attention was that you have to not like you have to but I don't know. I don't have it works sha but you shall hang the snake on your neck. <laughs> I've seen like three people that went there and it's really 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 scary and i'm going to freak out but then i like to try stuff like that secondly london i like to visit london i don't even know my problem with london like i can watch like anything that took place in london i don't know i just have a thing for london i would love to go to london and then i would love to go to any african countries african countries are really beautiful though african countries are really beautiful so yeah any other african country the next one five ways to win my hands money food more money more food <laughs> serious the audience are saying you think it's joking nah. money i'm going to in short i'm going to put my account number down below money more money <laughs> food of course like who does not like food now nah, eh? who does not like food random gifts random thoughtful gifts 
support most people don't know the importance of support though hey there are some people that in this their life they've never done business maybe they've just been students they've never done business they've not done any pageantry they've not come out for any face of river ninja they've not done anything so they don't even know what support means that's why they don't even show support the way i am eh, i do not make it feel like oh this person owes me anything no but i shall know that when you need support you come and meet me oh start begging for support you can't be like saying we no get sense we, see you will never ever know you will never ever know until you find yourself in that situation people that have never really been in need of any support before they will not know until it's that tone do you get the way to win my heart like support me buy what i'm selling even if i'm not selling anything at the moment engage in my content see this youtube video now share it see support so yeah how many have i mentioned i don't know but that's just 10 songs i'm in love with right now see i mean <laughs> kind of person so any song that i can write to i don't know all these songs that you can make <laughs> oh i love those songs like i love good music i'm sucker for good music I also love gospel music. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Christian, okay? Duh. My current gospel song at the moment is an old song, a 2019 song. But the most Beyond Me by Yada. Um, the lyrics of that song eh, it speaks volume. Look past my sin, my guilt, and my shame. And pour your love upon me. Do you know what it means for a human being? So look past your sin, your guilt, and your shame. It go hard. But God will look past your sin. God will, that is the author and finisher of our faith. Will look past your sin, your guilt, your shame. He will see pour his love on top of you. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? <laughs> but that song is awesome, Sha. I, I love the lyrics of the song. Like, it makes sense. Post some words of wisdom you speak. I don't know if it's a word of wisdom, wisdom, but it's just a bad day, not a bad life. Like there are some people in their in their in their life that are going through a lot right now, but it's just for that period. Even if at that point it's really really hard for you to handle, but you should just have at the back of your mind that it's just for that period. Like it's not your whole life that is a mess or that is bad, and prayer solves everything. So the next one is write about five blessings in your life. One is protection, like. All my whole life, I've never had accidents. I've never been robbed. Have I been robbed? I've never been robbed. Even it's one time that they robbed my lodge in school. Like it was just my room and one other guy's room that they did not enter. And the other guy did not accuse him that is him that brought the thief. Yeah, I was just like that nobody could say anything to me. I could, I could not say anything. So all my life, I've never been robbed. I've never had accidents. Like I go, you see, for this particular day, work out. I can go anywhere at any time and the highest thing that i'm very very un angry about is hold up apart from that i've never been kidnapped jesus i've never been kidnapped i've got to thank for that another one is good health i've never been admitted in the hospital i've never had any serious sickness that they will say oh 100k for drugs i've never had any of that even the one that was wanted to be an issue one time they checked me and they said there's nothing wrong with you go home so I've never had any health issues. And then some people in my life are also blessings. Like my sister. My sister, I miss her so much. My parents, my best friend, my boyfriend, and a whole lot of other people are blessings in my life. And there are some people that eh, in their life, they don't even have up to one person save that. They know that if they're in any sort of trouble, they can run to. They don't have. Well, I have people that are blessings in my life. And then another blessing in my life is that I'm well, like I'm well to do. My family is well to do. It doesn't mean I'm bragging. It's just a blessing in my life that I have to talk about. It's a blessing. Like we don't have to struggle to do anything. It's a blessing, honestly. What are you excited about? I'm excited about life in general. Like this life, eh? And I, I'm I'm just in my early twenties. Tomorrow is not promised, but hopefully I pray that God to keep me till still uh -huh. so i have a lot of things to do in my life a lot of things to accomplish and i'm just happy about life in general like, life is beautiful uh, next one is see facts about myself it's not I, I don't think i can remember up to 30 but i'll just say a few that i can remember most of the time i have amnesia before i go to bed and after i wake up like if, if after this video i'm sleeping asap like my bed is here and i'm sleeping 
in the morning i wake up and i forget that i ever did any video like this except i'm looking for something i'm sick into my car i'm like oh phone calls to i don't remember like i know even when i wake up in the morning early hours of when i wake up like let me say one hour i cannot remember anything after then that i did that one hour and and that one is to have five minutes hatred for people that interrupt my sleep as well on phone like i'll be sleeping on my phone don't be my phone is vibrating inside my head like if i don't see your name here, five minutes when i say hatred a strong hatred like this <sighs> and i'm serious too. but after that it's it to go and next one i'm a very very shy person even if it's very very difficult for some people to believe and now random fact about me I, I i don't know how to make friends in short i'm not even interested in making any friend at this point in my life i don't know i feel like it's stress i know i hate attitude if you give me an attitude eh <laughs> if anything you see just take it i hate it with my life like i might even talk to you in a very rude way that you say hey, you will hate me back that is what i want i don't watch tv like i don't know how to watch tv apart from when i know that they are showing a particular show that i keep up with to the very last but when i don't watch tv and what else i have extracted two of my of my tooth i don't know i, I think i've mentioned before yeah write about a lesson you've learned the hard way or more yeah, sometimes it's just good to keep quiet like like it's not everything that is going on in your life that you tell somebody it's not everything that you would just somebody Sometimes keep it to yourself. Don't want to reach that point where you will not regret that. Try it for keep quiet. Before you get to that point, you have to try. Try to keep something. It's not everything that you tell people. And I promise you. Last one. Write about an area in your life you would like to improve on. Spiritual life. Like, it feels good to grow spiritually. Trust me. Because the level, the spiritual level I'm in now is not the level I was last year. So it feels good to know that I'm growing spiritually. And I also want to grow more. So that feeling is bliss and is meh. And then makeup and content creating. Obviously, I have to put in effort. I have to put in work. Even the spiritual aspects. I have to put in effort. I have to put in work. I'm thinking of, of going for an upgrade class. And then content creating. I pay for online classes and all of that. But those are definitely what I want to improve on. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, I want to beg of you to drop video ideas in my comment section i know that most of you have dropped video ideas in my comment section before but i cannot find those comments i don't have checked for this one that i'm begging you now to put i know that okay is this video i said please put comments and uh, ideas for me so please put so i can come back and make video because i don't want to do any vlog again i told you guys because i'm preparing for vlogmas which i hope is to happen so please Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share. I want to give a very, very, very massive and gigantic and big and strong shout out to Busola. That girl, eh? Hey, God. If I have, I used to say that, like, if I have five, just five or five of Busola, I'm good. I also want to give a shout out to all of you that, if you know you've shared my video before, big shout out to you. If you know you've watched my video before and you've not, you did not forget to like, a big shout out to you if you know you've dropped a comment if you know you've shared if you know you've done something that you know that i always beg you to do a big shout out to you to you i appreciate it <sighs> and i do not take it for granted i love you guys so much thank you i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.